a very good morning students in today's class i'll be doing a shortcut route to find how to detect zinc ions now this is the practical which you do in class 11th as well as in class 12th and it's a high probability ion which is asked in your exams a zinc salt is what i have taken this is your zinc salt i have taken a zinc sulfate salt this salt looks white have a look at it this is a white colored salt a crystalline salt zinc has got uh, 3d10 there is no partially filled d orbital so in zinc 2 positive ion also it has a 3d10 so it is a white colored salt now the step one this is your test tube you take a pinch of salt and add water to it this is my water and shake the contents please always proceed after shaking the contents on shaking the contents the solution should be clear as it is a clear os os is the original solution in schools you also call it as water extract to this os now you are supposed to add dilute hcl now i'm keeping it as a stock solution also because i may require the os again so i've just divided into two and kept it fine you can see i've kept it here as a stock solution this is the stock solution that i have now now to this this was my os to this i add dilute hcl first to check for the presence of group 1 and you can see there is no white ppt since there is no white ppt this shows there is no lead in it that means group 1 absent when you proceed for group 2 you are actually supposed to add h2s gas but in most of the schools these days we due to the environmental constraints you would find you are using something called as a sodium sulfide solution instead of h2s you can also use a sodium sulfide solution but the observations would be different so when you have a zinc salt with an hcl which has no lead in it for the second group actually your zinc is in the fourth group but in the second group since you are not using h2s and you are using sodium sulfide this is what you would observe that's it you get a white ppt here itself this is an indication that it is zinc so in your group 2 if you are not using h2s and you are using sodium sulfide you would get a white ppt of zinc sulfide right here now this is your test for zinc ions indicator now for the confirmatory test you need to use the os for which i had kept the os separately this is nothing but your salt plus water this is the os that i am talking about to this os for the confirmatory test you need to add potassium ferrocyanide solution this potassium ferrocyanide solution is a confirmatory reagent required to confirm presence of zinc ions have a look i am adding potassium ferrocyanide to it and you get a greenish ppt this greenish ppt formation indicates the presence of zinc in it so this is how you are going to do there is another test in which you are supposed to add NaOH but this test does not respond well because excess of NaOH leads to solubility of the white ppt formed so i would advise what you do is you do the white ppt with Na2S and then to the OS you add K4FeCl6 you get a greenish white ppt and your zinc gets confirmed now there are other cations in your syllabus for which i would put them in the description box so that you can have a look at the other ions present in your syllabus fine there is also a flow chart diagram on the channel which you can have a look at for the procedure how to follow it fine with that i close the test of zinc ions thanks a ton do well in your boards and your practicals